yesterday, but the open gaming here is dead. Like at, at Gen Con, like the Gen, Gen Con open gaming channels are, mm -hmm. I've not seen a single open game go off. Not one. Hmm. That's disappointing. Yeah, it's really disappointing. But um, a lot of people are playing formal ferret games, so that's really cool. And I'm going to have an event in a little less than an hour, so that's where I'm going to have to disappear. Awesome. Hey, I'm here. It let me in finally. Oh, Hello, there man. we go. I thought it, it Boom. just eventually magically worked, huh? Yeah, I didn't do anything. It <laughs> suddenly. Hey, everybody. Hey, hey. Luke, I don't think we've ever have we spoken before. I don't. We may have years ago, but it's been a while. Is that Gil have. talking? No, it's Jeremy. Oh, from Jeremy. MVM. Yeah. Nice to meet you, Jeremy. We might have speaking spoken. I think uh, we did at one point when we were talking about either the original Energy Empire or an expansion of some sort. Right. Or maybe yeah. Everdell. Uh, well, great. The, gang's all, the Greg is all here. We are live on our YouTube and we are up on Discord. So if people want to comment or oh, ask nice. questions or anything, they're totally welcome to. And I'll be monitoring that stuff and here to answer your guys' questions as you have them. Um, but I'm going to let Scott and Luke take it away and tell you about their game. Um, just uh, give me a holler if you're having any trouble hearing me. But uh, so this is um, Whistle Mountain. Scott Caputo and I got together and started to design this uh, a few years ago. We decided we admired each other's work and he does a lot of spatial stuff and I do worker placement. And so we decided to take the chocolate and the peanut butter and put it together and make <laughs> Whistle Mountain. Awesome. What a great analogy. So um, it looks like we've got uh, players out there all set up and I don't know how much of the rules you know but it has a uh, worker placement uh, place workers out and your workers are these three differently sized airships um, so you've got a little uh, hot air balloon and a medium-sized airship and a large uh, juggernaut um, and uh, what we're doing is we are building uh, in this uh, rocky mountain type setting uh, we're building scaffolds that are um, getting taller and taller across this uh, uh, up on this grid. Uh, we have workers, which are all your meeples off on the um, left side, and they're in a barracks. And eventually we're going to try to get the meeples out onto the um, scaffolds. And then we're going to construct machines, which are all these rectangles over on the left side, on top of the scaffold, superimposed on the scaffolds. And if there are meeples in the areas where these uh, machines are built, that promotes the workers over into the tower on the right, where there are award ribbons for the first uh, worker to make it into each level of that tower. It's a building puzzling game with uh, worker placement where the worker spaces evolve over the entire game. There's also some standard actions around the perimeters, allowing you to get the various things to do the work you do. We start out with individual player powers in these uh, different uh, starting abilities that we're going to draft from. And um, everything you need to know to play is right on your player mat, the, how the turn sequence works. And then the scoring is done by accumulating uh, victory point chits. Sounds easy enough. <clears throat> so if you've played a few uh, uh, of our games, mine and Scott's collectively, you're going to see some similarities and also some differences. There's, there's a lot of things about this game that are they're unlike other games that I've played proudly. And um, we find it fascinating to play. Scott and I are not tired of playing this one at all. That's and for sure. Luke, tell me the end game victory condition. Did you talk about that? So, no. What's going to happen is uh, we're going to be building scaffolds. Um, so the scaffolds are going to be going out here onto this grid. We're going to be creating areas, um, and the areas are going to be able to have uh, machines built on top of them. Then the workers are going to be moving on over here. But if we build these machines anywhere above this red line, this bridge line up here, then what's going to happen is this water is going to rise. And so there are 
water bars. And as the water rises, that's going to be sweeping meeples into the whirlpool. It's going to be covering up areas that we can't use anymore. And then when the water hits the bridge, that triggers the end of the game. And, but, uh, uh, well, Luke, it's actually when all the workers are out of the barracks. Right. That's right. It's the last worker leaves the barracks. But in our games, that usually happens because they get washed out. But if we get all the workers out before then, that ends the game too. I think everyone gets one more turn. Yes. I believe so. I'll, I'll except, the, except the player who triggers it. I think that's right. Okay. So um, are we ready to get started? I am ready, but I'm going to ask you a generalized question. Thematically, yeah. how does this tie into Whistle Stop? I'll let Scott answer that question. <laughs> uh, I don't know if there's a super strong connection. There's some mechanics in graphical design elements that are similar, but it's, I would say it's more in the universe of Whistle Stop. That's fair enough. But yeah, I not... definitely see a, the graphical uh, similarities between two, especially with the gears. Those, those resources that you attach to your player board are very, very similar. And then, of course, the whistles and the coal and those type of things. So and just... it, has, oh. it has some pretty significant differences, but I would say one thing that feels a little similar is the way that you create the board and whistle stop, and then everybody uses that board you created. Similarly in this, you're creating the board across the middle and everybody uses it. Right. So just to talk about some of the, when you place your airship on, uh, your airship goes directly onto the, onto the, you don't put it on top of the scaffold. And just to show an example, uh, say I put here, then I get, Sources that I'm next to. So in this case, let's see, I'm next to steel, coal, and whistle. So I would get those three resources. Now I could have placed it. Uh, I place it here, then I would get gold. And actually, being next to the water bar gives you water. So it's another way to get resources. So that just shows you uh, how to get stuff. If we start building buildings, then you can activate the buildings as well. So let's say we had show that on top. So you can actually put your airship on top. So if I play it, we rotate this here, then I get the building which gives me a coal and a steel. And then anything that ship is adjacent to, I get the steel and the gold as well. And if I had other buildings I was adjacent to or machines, then I could activate those two as well in any order. So there's a lot of combos and things that you could potentially do as the board is being built. And there's blocking only in terms of that uh, Scott blocked that space but I can come in and I can use the same stuff by kind of hitting it from a different angle. That's true. So, for example, I can even place right next to him on that machine, or I could place next to the machine, for example, and get almost the same stuff. I can get steel, steel, coal, and gold by placing in this little spot here. Um, the workers themselves don't actually gather you any resources. So we're going to be moving our workers mostly, most often that occurs during what's called your forge turn. So um, the placing turns is uh, how you go about gathering resources is placing out these airships. And then you'll get to a point at any point, you can decide I'm going to pull back and that's called a forge turn. Your forge turn allows you to conduct builds so if you look at the player mat, you can see that you get a free build, which is indicated by a hammer. Uh, you pay a water and you can do another build and a second water and you can do a third build. And then you're allowed to either move one of your workers from the barracks by playing a gold uh, or move one of your workers out of the whirlpool by paying uh, two gold. Now, 
that movement is how you get your guys up here and they're going to be moving up onto the scaffolds, but they can only be placed on the spaces that don't have any resources on them. So that's where you put the workers in position so that if later you are able to come along and build a machine on top of that spot, that's how you get your guy to move over into that tower and get that bonus. There's end game victory points in the tower associated with where you get those workers as well. For you guys watching that just noticed that forge action, I'm a huge fan of Energy Empire. That's basically a tie in to one of your older games where you pull back all your workers and be able to do something else. I love that element because everyone kind of is on a, a different wavelength. Like some people may be forging, some people may be building, it may be different depending on each of the players. Yep, and Elderville has that too. And yep. in this one, where one thing that's a little different in this one is you can forge on any turn, which means that you could forge multiple turns in a row if you've accumulated enough stuff that it makes sense to do so. Yep. Even if your guys are already pulled back, your blimps and your hot air balloons and everything else. Yes. Yep. Right. Yeah. So when you pull back, all your ships come off the board. So it's it's le it's opening up spots for other people as well. Right. So, so we can we can okay. chat and, and answer more questions as we go, but let's go ahead and uh, and get things rolling. Draft okay. these do we draft the starting tiles? We how that works? do. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna flip over the number of players plus one, right? Mm -hmm. So we got uh, five of these. Yep. And yep. let's see. Now, Kira and I have both read the rules pretty thoroughly. Uh, oh, this great. is the part that we don't, uh, you'll have to walk us through like all these special tiles and, and whatnot, just to make sure that we don't miss any of the cool upgrades. Cause I know if we don't, you guys will snake them from us. Well, <laughs> that's fine. Um, we can take the We've heard one. you're very vicious <laughs> player. Yeah. We, we want to win. We're here to win. Okay, um, let's see. Here's what they do. Um, we have, uh, let's start with a team lead up here. So the team lead is, what is that one, Scott? You get vi four Wait. victory points when you place a worker next to another worker. If you place one of your, your, yep. And that's yeah. per, per adjacent worker. You could get more than four points for doing that. But. Wow. Okay. So getting workers in spots by other workers is good for the team lead. And that's yours or your opponent's workers? Yes, it's any worker. Could be your right. own. Okay. So then we've got the Admiral, which is when you build a building, or build a machine, that is, you can activate that machine right away. Oh, wow. Okay. The Riveter is when you have gained a scaffold on your turn. At the end of your turn, you gain an additional scaffold. So no matter how many scaffolds you gain, if you gain at least one on your turn, you get one bonus at the end of your turn. Does that have to be the same uh, no. type of tile? Can be any tile? No, okay. any, any of the shapes that are available. Okay. And then uh, the craftsman here is when you build a machine, you gain two free whistles, and whistles are wild. So you getting those is good. The um, lead engineer is when you build either a large or medium machine, you get a free upgrade and upgrades look like those gears up there and they're up in the top corner, right corner of the board. So those are your, they, they're worth both victory points and have uh, rule bending abilities. So we're gonna determine a player order and then we pick these in reverse player order. So let's see, how are we sitting all, all here? I can go first if you want and then I'll pick last. That's fine. And then <laughs> let's see who's who. I see some player W B Y F E. Who's who? I, uh, Blue's Jeremy. Um, the white is Kira, and then mm -hmm. you obviously Luke. You're yellow, and Scott is red. Okay, so if I go first, and then Scott, if we're going clockwise, we're good, and then we get the two experienced players mm -hmm. uh, going before the newbies. All right, fair enough. So I'm going to go first. I will pick. I know I'm going to make the first wrong choice here, but I'm going to take the, uh, hmm, I'm going to take the Riveter. Seems, that seems good. Rude. It is good. That is totally the one I was planning to take. 
Jeez, Jeremy. I'm going to put my All stuff right. this way so I can actually read it. There we go. I think I'll take. I like this variable draft at the start. I always like draft period, but having variable powers. Is always yeah, it, it's a little it's a little uh, um, brutal to a brand new player sometimes to have to make make a, a critical choice at the very beginning of the game. But once you've played a few times, you have a sense for how all these go. The cool thing is, too, as I'm reading this rule book, as, as you guys are picking, there's uh, according to the rule book, there's 17 of these. So yeah, there's, there's a, a ton. A there's a ton, ton of everything. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, you won't have the same combos of everything, uh, the same stuff ever. Okay. Mine. It... I took the team lead. All right, it's mine. I'll, I'll take the lead engineer. You guys are going to give me the same one I had last time, which was awesome. Or you uh, could try I, I will take the Admiral. I did the Craftsman last time. I know the Craftsman's really good and fun. I'm going to take the Admiral. All right. Okay. So, Luke, you're the start player, so you take two scaffolds. I do take two scaffolds. It looks like our resources aren't quite right. Um, oh, that's right. So I shouldn't have a whistle. You guys get one of each resource except for a whistle, and then there's a bonus resource for second, third, and fourth. Right. So I get a water at second, third place, except Kara gets a whistle, and then Jeremy would get water in a whistle. And I'm going to demonstrate how we set the starting board. I drew two of the same uh, style scaffold, and then you can both, you can flip these and you can rotate them. And what we're doing is we're setting up the starting board. So you take one of them and you place it on the board and the other, you place it down in your supply. So you start out with one to begin with. Okay. okay. And then it just Scott has to touch the bottom. I'll say. Yeah. Then Scott does the same. Okay. Uh, so remind me again, uh, the water raises only when a machine is built above it or how a scaffold would go above it. Just, just a machine. Just a machine. Okay. Oh, there's a stray worker here. Where was this guy? Oh, he was in the, in the whirlpool. whirlpool. Now he can connect anywhere attached to yours or just attached to the bottom. It can go uh, anywhere attached to the bottom. We can't start building up towards the sky yet. Okay. Okay. All right. So, Tara, you have to take two of the same shape scaffold just for the first turn. You place okay. one and you keep the other and just has to touch the one that you place just has to touch the bottom. Again, for people that are new to TTS and Tabletopia, obviously, it's a little fiddly with these type of games, polyomino games, because you're putting stuff down everywhere. Mm -hmm. It's not this fiddly with the real game. Not at all. Um, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be fiddling with the pieces. I've been practicing piece sure. fiddling. So I might, <laughs> I might make little adjustments as you go. Kara, uh, you're going to keep one of those. Yeah, Will I keep, keep one? one? I yeah. thought you said place them both. I'm sorry. I'll yeah, keep one of them. One caution right. is as you're moving pieces, if you move pieces across the middle of the board, there's a greater chance that you might accidentally drop it and like knock the other stuff. So if you're mm -hmm. grabbing your things, your components and moving them kind of around the edge of the board, there's a little less odds of that, uh, that disaster. All right. In some weird position here. Okay. Right. We've got a board and we've got upgrades. It looks like we got a game here. It does. All right, and I've got all these cool airships, and you guys just set me right up to get some cool stuff with your the starting I'm, placements. I saw so that. So I'm going to take my medium-sized airship, and I'm going to be... Oh, we lost a player. Who's our player we lost? I don't think, I think all of us are here. I think, I think that was a spectator. Yeah, <clears throat> I think we're good. Okay, 
So I'm dropping my airship right there and mm -hmm. I get two coal and one water. And this is a collect action for those who are watching. That's a collect action. So that's just kind of your standard worker placement on a board that we custom built. So you are limited in your supply resources. So I get uh, the two coal, the one water, and my turn is over. There are free actions in the game. Um, the free actions are either playing a ribbon and or playing one card. So these mm -hmm. cards give you bonus actions if you work on accumulating those. And they give you kind of fun turns where you can do a whole bunch of things on one turn. So Scott, are you going? I just lost connection. I have to get back into the game. Ah, oh, that's what we lost. Okay. Uh, let's see. He's reconnecting when we were talking before the stream how crazy the outside of this board is, how the edge of it is all die cut where you place your blimps. Like, I'm not sure yeah, I've seen cool, a game huh? that has that kind of board. Yeah, it's really Yeah, neat. so you can place out here and you can get large uh, machines. Here you can get medium machines. Here's small machines. Up here's where you go to get cards. You get cards with any resource. Um, it's the coal and the steel gets you the machines. Yep. And then the there are various costs and prices on these um, upgrades. So the upgrade costs are each indicated at the top of the upgrade itself. Then whistles, which are also wild, they're your key to accumulating the scaffolds. Mm -hmm. And how you build the scaffolds will determine how you score. Because if you build a more stable structure with lots of adjacent touching sides, you get more points. It's points for every little segment of the touching oh, size. Nice. Right. So Scott, if you're having trouble, I could go ahead and start taking your turn for you. Oh, okay. I think I found a link. All I'll right. take I'll take this turn for you, and then and then we'll see where it goes from there. Okay. I, I, I want to get a. Can you place my ship so I get a steal? Sure. I'll <laughs> place you right over here, and you can get a steal and a water. How's that? That sounds great. Being right, generous. Got steel and water. Could have gone steel and coal, but steel and water. Steel and water sounds great. Water is like, uh, it's like your energy. Uh, it lets you build more. Did I do Hydro. that right? Yep. See, so now you get a coal and a steel. All right. Wow, you guys got two whistles? I did. You, you said I got one when we started. Was I did I mishear you? I think you get you get no, she, one whistle yeah, she, only. That's your bonus. Yeah, no, she she's she's right. She should have two whistles. Really? Oh Does no. We all start with one set of resources. You don't start with a whistle. But yeah. I shouldn't have but a whistle. I should have two. You should have one only. Okay, let me get rid of this extra one then. Yeah. That's so what, true of, yeah, that's that's true of um, so Kira has one whistle and then um, uh, Jeremy got a bonus water and a whistle. Yeah, so he should only have one whistle as well. That's right. Uh, okay. Okay. Perfect. Yeah, there we go. One whistle and one extra water. We're good okay. now. All right. My turn, correct? Correct. Yes. All right, I will take my uh, one by one. I'm going to place them here. And I'm going to get a coal, a whistle, and a water. See, and that's the turn I was going to give Scott, but he insisted on a steal, so I did the other one. I'm surprised there. no one else did that. But I I'm surprised you didn't go there, Luke, at the very start. No, no, no. I want these coals because they can get me buildings. The but machines. Can't the... Uh, that's true. All right. So you're done, Jeremy? Uh, unfortunately, I would like to go again, but yes, I am done. All right. Well, you will <laughs> eventually. So I'm going to go up to the um, machine spot Don't in the you do it. corner here, and Don't I'm going to spend you. two coal, and I'm going to get one of these. I like the ones that are worth a lot of victory points. Uh, 
the ones that are worth a lot of victory points give you worse resources in general. And so that's what I'm doing. So I'll get the wet pointer. And that costs me the two coal. So I'll spend that now. Okay. I'm done. You, don't, you don't build that yet, correct? It doesn't right. get built until you forge. Yep. Okay. Yeah. It's a build action. And normally those are triggered only by forging. But there are various bonus things like cards that could allow mm -hmm. you to build. Or a, a, a ribbon, if you were to get one of these awards, it has a free build on it, where you could spring it out as kind of a free action in the middle of doing some other things. I see. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and get another steel. And that's my turn. No, I don't know what I'm going to do. So I need to park. If I want more polyominoes. I need to park over there, right? So I need to take this guy. Boop. And then I can spend one whistle, you said, to get two. Mm -hmm. Yep, and you can take them from any of the stacks. Okay, I'm trying to grab my whistle. It's not letting me grab it. It's acting locked. Mm -hmm. Come off my board. I got it. There Thank it you. Mm -hmm. All right, let me go back here. And I'll take, ooh, I like this one. Ooh, I like that one too. Mm, but I'll take this one. Cool. Okay. <clears throat> uh, my turn. I will take my large guy and park him here. I'm going to spend two whistles and the gold. Oh my gosh. There you go to buy this hydraulic lift. That is me. And I am going to get this game a moving and I'm going to forge already. All right. So I'm going to pull back my airships, which is your first step in a forge turn. And you, so you just pull them back and you park them on your player mat. Then yep. I'm going to do my free build and I will be building a scaffold. And it's this scaffold right here. And the more points of contact I make, the more scoring I will get. So we can have five points here. Flip it. And I'm going to Tetris it in. Rotate it. And I'm going to drop it about there. Or so I'll adjust <laughs> it in a bit. I got it. Then my second build has to cost me a water. Um, but before I do the second build, I'm going to spend a gold. You should get five, five points for that one. Right. So number of contacting um, adjacent sides is five. Two on this side, two on the left, two on the right, and then one on the L there. So I, I grab a five point. point. I got it for you. I okay. got it. Yep. Great. And then um, so I'm paying one gold, and I'm moving a yellow dude, he, she, or they, right there. And um, then I will use my second build, which I paid a water to perform a second build. And I'm going to be building this machine right where my worker is. So my worker did such a good job that they get promoted over to the tower, which will be worth four points at the end of the game. And I get this ribbon, which is a free build action that I can use on any turn. The machine that I built now replaces this part of the scaffolding. Now we can all place next to this or on it to get its bonus, which is one water and one victory point. Plus for me, since I built it, I get seven victory points. So I'm winning. We can call the game right now and we'll just say that I won or <laughs> we can keep playing a little longer. <laughs> so funny. There it is. I know. Once during your turn, you may spend one. Okay. So the water didn't rise on that build. I have to build above that red line to make the water rise. Correct. Oh, notice that you, um, for each of the workers that you have in the whirlpool at the end of the game, they're negative five points each. So you really want to save those guys. Mm -hmm. Get them out of there. 
Okay, I'm buying a medium machine here. And I will take one that turns a whistle. Oh, that's those are scaffold pieces. Uh, hmm. Sure, I'll still take that. That's two points. That's good. That's my turn. Okay, I'm going to build some of these pieces, these scaffolding. So, what's going to give me the best? So you're hmm. pulling, you're pulling all of your uh, your airships back. You, I think you oh, still right. have one more airship. You could place. I could. You're right. Let's do that instead. Well, but not gonna get much. I'm not gonna get much. Mm. I'm just I'm just gonna take my guys back and said, uh oh. Looks like we lost Scott again. Is that Scott? <laughs> he got bumped off the uh tabletopia. No. We have time to get back on. Perfect timing went. though, right after his turn. Let me know if you need any help, Kara. Yeah, I'm just occasionally the stuff does not want to grab for me. So I obviously want to put as many of these down as I can. Get as many contact points. So that's my first one. That's four that's, points. That's four. Yep. And I can spin this water to build a second one and get some more while we're at it. So let's do that. This will be the good one. Can these flip? No. Yes. Yeah, the scaffolds can flip. Hit the F and it'll flip it. Thank you. Jeremy, your hand's in the way. Can you move it? Okay. I can't see. Thank you. <laughs> there. I'll make a little adjustment. Whoa. Thank you. There we go. There we go. Too many cooks. All right. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> So that got me a total of four, five, six, seven, eight, right? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine. Oh, okay. Fabulous. Yeah, and then add nine. Uh, it also counts when it's touching the edge of a machine, correct? Yes, because the edge of that machine is also has scaffolds underneath it. It's a little harder to see that that in the three D. Um, yeah. yeah, those are adjacent scaffolds too that are under there. You got nine. Thank you. That's awesome. Great building. Um, Very good. Your, your power is, let's see, if you put a meeple next to a meeple, you get a point or four points, but that doesn't look like that's an option right now. But you Not could, yet. if you spend a gold, still get a guy out there. And okay. It's a good idea, especially getting them as high as you can. Because you can even get your worker promoted by someone else's building. So if you set yourself up in a place where they really want to build, um, they they will take you with them into the world of promotion. Where are my workers? They're over here in the here barracks yeah. on the right oh, side there. Oh, I'm just being silly. I saw that. I went to the wrong place. All right. You have some down there drowning in the whirlpool too. I do. So we want to take, we have to take them off the same level we put them on, right? No, um, they're going to get promoted from the same level, but you take them, usually you take them from the lowest one you can, just not as a requirement, but because it makes sense. Because the water is going to be rising and it'll, it'll sweep away the lowest ones. And the worker has to go in a spot where there's no resource. Whoops, he dropped in the wrong spot. There we go. Oh, I moved yeah. everything. There's a little, there's a little hill there now. Sorry. I'll adjust it. Thank you. <laughs> okay. You saw where I was trying to put him. <laughs> and you, right there. And you paid the gold to move him? I did. Okay. All right. Okay. Thing, I am going to Good spot. Right here. I'm going nice. to do some gold. Ooh. Gold, like gold whistle and water, right? Oh, and coal, yeah, too. And coal, yep. And uh, a victory point. And a victory point. 
That is a good turn. Um, I quit. I can't do better than that one right there. <laughs> uh, I have free builds, but I'm going to need some stuff to build. I would love to get a whistle. I see some whistles out there, but not very many. Um, I will take my medium worker and I will get a, looks like a whistle and a steel here. Yeah, I'll go with that. Nah, change my mind. I'm going to go with my small airship and just take this little corner right here. Corner piece, yeah. And get a whistle and a coal. Because I'm into building little gadgets and they're pretty cheap. So, all right, my turn's up. Okay. Oh, I got to backtrack, guys. I forgot about the whole reason why I was so worried about building so soon was I got to activate that machine for free. Ah. So all I should right. have a water and a victory point. Okay, right. So I'm going to forge. So I'm going to take, well, I have to forge. If you have your ships out, you have to take them back. Right. Do my first build here. That's going to be one, two, three points. I'll get that in a second. Uh, I'm going to spend gold to move one of my workers. I'm going to put him right. I guess I'm going to be promoting you, Kara. <laughs> oh, nice. All right, and then I'm going to rotate this. So I'm going to be putting right. it up there. So that's going to move this guy over to here. Oh, wait, that's a yellow guy. Scott, is it, are you moving my yellow guys? Oh, I'm sorry. You're right. I'm <laughs> going to put them back, and I'll, I'll, I'll replace them for a red guy. Okay, you're right. There we go. Let's see, that's 10 points. So I'm at 13 points. And... What does that guy do? That you just put down two. that machine. So you spend a whistle and you gain two scaffolds with that one. That okay. was super cool. And look, there's, there's a whistle right here. So you can get on the spot, grab a whistle, and get two scaffolds. That's what I was just wondering. That's I think I'm going to take the iron lung because my special ability is when I build a medium building or a large machine, I get a free upgrade. Nice. So there we go. I think that's everything. I should be at 13. And that is my turn. So I'll take a whistle that I'm going to spend. <laughs> so I'm not going to actually grab it. I'll take the steel, right? That's a steel there. Eesh. Okay, I can't grab it right now. Take the little guy. All right, I'll get it in a second. Instead, I'll just go over here. I and got your steel for you. Thank you, my two scaffolds. And I like this gold one. And I like this gold one. Mm, but I'll take this gold one instead. All right, those are my two. And that's me. All right, so I have to, if I don't have any blimps, I have to basically forge correct yeah you have to forge whether you have anything to forge or not it's usually good to get get meeples moved as much as possible even if um you can't do anything else trying to get this one yeah i got it yo you got it there you there go. You go. um where's my other guy there he is. okay okay um and it costs a gold to move a meeple right correct I will do that. And ooh, man, you guys took some spots, didn't you? And how? Let's we'll put them here. Oh, there's nothing up high. I'm gonna put them up higher so it doesn't get flooded. All right, that's me. Okay. <laughs> um, I think 
I'm going to fulfill my purpose in life by <laughs> taking my juggernaut and, uh, oh, wait, do I have the right resources for that? I have a whistle. I am going to do this. So juggernaut rotated, come into the landing bay here, right here. And I'm going to get a water, a gold, a coal, and then I'm going to spend a whistle to get two scaffolds. So there goes my whistle and I'll take three scaffolds or two scaffolds, sorry. And let's see a water. Oh, and a victory point too. It's a victory point on that. And I'm going to gra grab my resources and my turn is over. So it looks like Scott dropped again. Connection dropped. I mean, I can just go. So he doesn't take my spot. <laughs> That'd be fine with me. Seems fair. It are, does. Are you still on the audio, Scott? Oh, yeah, I'm back. I keep <laughs> connected. I was going to put my small one piece right where I get the two whistles, the water, and the coal, I think. Yep. Oh. Let me see it. Yes, uh, that's what I want to do. I'm getting back on the table. If someone wants to do that for me, that would be I great. Got it. Somebody want to collect the resources from for him? It's two whistles, okay. a coal, and a water. All right, I'll get it. Two whistles. Thank you. Yep. Scott, I know you don't see this, but we're actually just giving you oh. one coal. <laughs> Maybe All next right. year you'll get more than that lump. You guys okay <laughs> with me going then? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. You're good. Great. I'm going to get a water. A point, a whistle, and a coal, correct? Yep. Yeah, so now we're seeing, this is one of those times in the game where things are pretty abundant. Um, don't get too used to that, because what can happen is suddenly the water rises, and all of a sudden things you got used to being there are gone. And resource uh, availability will change as the game goes on. Right now we got all kinds of stuff. Might as well gather some stuff and gather some resources and make use of them. All right. So I will go here. I'm going to spend two coal. One. Come on, coal. So when I had, when the worker came and sat next to me, and then did I get four points for that? Or is it only when uh, I know No, place it's a worker? when your worker places next to someone else's. Got it. Or any of the workers rather. Got it, got it, got it, got it. I'm done. Right now there's there's not a an abundance of workers, but you see Jeremy does have one out there. So that would be a possibility for you. Excellent. Okay. That's why I got uh, so Jeremy, gold. you're finished? I am. Okay. So, I totally missed that conversation that was just had. You guys gonna mess with my worker? Probably. Yeah, we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna drown him in the whirlpool. I am gonna go spend some coal and get a little machine. Hmm. I'm gonna go for the resources because I know we're gonna start running out of them, and I want to keep these going. So I'm gonna get the coal and steel um, machine. Which gives, which will be worth four victory points when I play it, and cool. I'm not going to be playing it right now, which I could because I have a free build. But I'm going to save that. I'm done. Did you pay your three coal? Oh, I have to pay for things. <laughs> hey, I got to keep mm -hmm. you honest, man. You're already uh, winning. I thought I got the designer's discount. I was uh, gonna... <laughs> all right. I watch these things. Ask Kira. Oh, oh my okay. goodness. There we go. You have no idea. <laughs> well, it's uh, that's the other thing is, uh, you know, virtually you you have to kind of, I'm zooming in a lot to look at the key areas and 
then I don't look back at other things. So I, I could, you guys could be just giving yourself free resources for all I know, and I'm not even seeing it. I might have to. Oh, dang. Well, the, the, the audience will keep us honest on that. What right. is this uh, down here? This, I'll take a uh, look. Okay. okay. Trans Morgifier. So you discard a card and you gain a whistle and five victory points. Okay. So you have to have uh, some cards. No one's got any cards so far in this game. Uh, yeah. I don't think any of us besides you guys know what they even do. So I'm a little... Uh, yeah, They're really they, good. They, they kind of do all of the other things that go on in the game. Yeah. And uh, so basically you're, you're kind of can stack up a handful of cards to give you these combo turns. Lots of free actions. And they're surprises, correct? Like you don't show them until you play them. Right. Okay. okay. So I, I went there, I got a whistle and a steal. I'm going to opt not to activate the building. Interesting. So. Okay. Wait, that's the one that would give you scaffolds? Yep. What? I know. Why are you leaving scaffolds? That's like money on the table. Yeah. He's trying to help us win. We I made an know. agreement before this. Okay. Kira? Mm. Yeah, I'm thinking. What do I want to do this time around is the question. Mm -hmm. This is my little guy. I could use some more gold. Not even a good idea though, because I could go down here. Good. Uh, but I want that gold. Oh, that's tough decisions. Let's just do that. I'll take the gold. What is water used to pay for? <clears throat> is your is your build, building power? Oh. Um, Kira, you also get a victory point in water from the, oh, I from do. the machine right below you. I forgot about that. I was thinking I had to be on it, but you're right. Obviously. All right. Cool. Cool beans. No, right. I'm done then. I, I, I'm right, but not obviously. <laughs> well, I would hope that you were right. Me too, but it doesn't always happen. All right. I'm going to take my guy here. Gonna go right here. He's going to gain a gold. He is going to gain. Uh, he's gonna spend a whistle to gain three tiles. Hmm. Hmm. I'm going to spend. Uh, I'm gonna take one, two. Three. And then anytime I can get rid of a tile to move a guy. So I will get rid of a tile. Let's see here. There's no really good so, spaces anymore, is there? Uh, why don't you put it towards the bottom uh, down, here? down here between me and Scott? These yeah. actually go on the bottom of these stacks. So if we run out of any stacks, we can throw these back in. When it says in I the can. Real world. When it says I can discard a, uh, each turn I can discard a tile to move a guy. Can that move a guy out of the whirlpool too? No, the whirlpool one will show kind of an arrow curved up. You can see the icon for it is actually right here in the bottom right hand corner is the icon for saving someone out of the whirlpool. So they have a little water around them. Okay. This is actually an action you can take. So you can actually come down here in the bottom right corner and save somebody from the whirlpool and move them up on the scaffolds. I see. Um, I'll just put him there. All right. That's me. All done? I am oh, done. Okay. So I'm going to forge a new reality. So I'm taking back my airships. We gloriously return to home base. Let's see. Don't have a big giant one right in the middle here. Got to try to not knock everybody's over. 
All right, so my airships return. Then I'm going to go about my building, my enterprising building. It is hydro powered. So your, your first one's free. I'm going to take my first free build and I'm going to build way up here. So we're going to start getting some altitude. Okay. That first build is a point. Only one point I got uh, you. because oh, it's yeah. only Ooh. one point of connection. There we go. There's your point. There so you then go. I'm going to take um, and spend a water and do a second build, and I will be rotating and flipping this guy to build here. Three points. Three points. I'm going to give Correct. you five and take then, two. Then, okay. I, I would rather have three, but I'll take the five minus two instead. <laughs> okay, so then I'm going to spend a gold. To the do scaffolding a, doesn't seem safe. It's not. Um, <laughs> right. It's just, it's good enough. Uh, it's go <laughs> good enough for government work. So I take the, uh, I spend the gold and I move my, my yellow worker is going right on up here. And then I spend one more water and my final forge action is I'm going to be building this machine. Now, building this machine will promote my yellow worker right on over into the tower. And I get to take the ribbon that is worth four glorious points, or as Jeremy likes to say, five minus one. <laughs> and then I get the put the machine on this spot and I score four points for building the machine as well. Looks like it's a uh, red hand. Can the red hand move? Oh, that's Scott and he's kind of, he's glitching out a little bit. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So then I get four points for that one. <clears throat> and did you by chance give me those four points? I have well? not, no. You can take four. Right. I'll do that. And then I get to activate that machine right away because that's my starting power. So I get a coal and a steel, which will further my dreams of dominion. And I'm done. And the water rises. Oh, yes, it does. Um, Thanks, Scott. Airship All right, so airship gets bumped. Everybody got their um, workers out of the way, which is good. But now we get a water bar that goes right there. And now, now you can still place next to the water bar to get water, but all those original spots we were using there are gone. And uh, this can happen now with some speed. So keep an eye out for the water rising. You want to protect these these workers, and we also want to get the ones that are in the water out of the water. Got it. Okay, your turn, Scott. Okay, let's see here. I'm going to build by a large building. I'm go for my small guy. Take this one. I'm discarding and cashing in my ribbon for points. Okay, that's all I'm going to do. So all my airships are out, so I have to build. Uh, do I take them back now or I wait till the next turn? I'm sorry. Um, you pull them back and then, um, then, then you do your build. building and climbing on this same turn. Cool. Since you have two gold, you could choose to take your worker when you move them from the whirlpool instead of from the barracks. How many I builds can you do on a turn? You can do up to three builds on a turn. The first one's free, and then up to two more. And each one costs a water, the second and third builds. I should build before I do my worker, right? So let's see. Building, building, building. Let's do. not really what I want. Let's go with this one. There we go. That's better. 
Nice. That feels right. Five I'm sure you'll fix that for me. One, two, three, four, five points. Yep. Yep. And then I'll build another. For water. Mm hmm. I just spent the water. I gave you your five. Three. That one's four. Mm -hmm. And I'm giving you your four. I might as well build this last one, because why not? Oh my goodness, water. You having trouble grabbing it? There it goes. And... Any contacts is possible. Three more. Most you can get out of that, I think, is three. You can get four right here. Yeah. Booped. All right. And you gave me my points for the last one, so I just need another four. Yeah. Is that right? Right. Yeah. One, two, three, and four. And then I will rescue one of my friends from below. For two gold. And we'll just put them right to work, right? There's no workers out right now. Is that correct? Um, right. No, there are two right down here. Oh, I see. But you don't want them to get hit by rising water either. Yeah, there's not really anywhere to put them. Sad. Uh, I think you want to put them up high. <laughs> I'm going to put them there. Okay. Done. And that's it. Yep. I'm going to forge the one. Where's my blue two? All right. We're going to put this here. So two points. Spend the water. I'm at two points. I'll just map it out here. Three, four, five, six points. Mm -hmm. Take six. And then my second water. I'm going to spend the gold before I do that. I already spent the water to move a guy here. I will get rid of this tile to move another guy. Here. Whoa. Nope. That's Whoa, not a guy. Whoa, everybody. Whoa. <laughs> I'll fix that in a second. There. Let's see what I can do here. <laughs> Making a mess of the place. No, we're just here. There we go. All right. Uh, and then already, this is my third one, and I will go right here. Oh, this guy's going to go here. This guy's going to go here. This is going to go there. I'm going to get seven points. Wow. Nice. That was really good. And you get this ribbon. Um, let's see what that one is. That nice. ribbon gives you a free upgrade, which you could grab now if you like. It's one of nice. these, right? Yep. Can you go through these real quick, what they do? Yeah. So let's see. We have the R &D extractor. Okay. So the extractor is when you build a scaffold of any shape. Um, you take one of the resources depicted on the scaffold. The um, R&D unit is each turn, you're able to spend three whistles to gain a new upgrade. The upgrades were worth victory points too. They have a victory point I value. See that. Yeah. Um, the extension is when you build a machine, actually when anyone builds a machine and you're next to um, that machine, you get promoted. So you don't have to be directly under the spot where it is built. You can be next to it. Take that. <laughs> he likes that one. Okay. okay. All right, I get rid of the red. And, and the water rises. It yeah. does. All right. 
So if you look, you can see that there's a black meeple and a red meeple still in the barracks there. And oh, this no. water comes up. And the water goes there. Uh, these machines are still functioning. Uh, but once uh, water go covers this one, it won't be working anymore, even though it's only partially covered. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. So it is uh, my turn, correct? Yep. Right. I will take my juggernaut, or as we call it, our Led Zeppelin, and I'm going to rotate it, and I'm going to use this one where I can get a whistle, turn it right around into two um, scaffolds, and I also will get a deal. So, scaffold, scaffold, and a steal. And I am done. Okay. I'm going to place right here water, point, a steel, which I will use as a I have I have the steels are wild, so... I will get two scaffold. I also get two gold. Two gold scaffold. I will take this one and I think that's everything. You're doing crap. I don't know why it's on its side. I can't fix it. Uh, but tap, tap the letter E while you're holding it. Ah, there we go. Put it there. This is going to give me a gold and a whistle and a victory point. Nice. Hmm. That's it for me. Okay. Jeremy? Yeah, you know what? Since no one's done this, I'm going to uh -oh. be snake. Go get cards? Yeah. I was, gonna I was go thinking about cards. that, too. And then you're going to be the only one because you're going to block it up. Yeah. You know, I'm going to spend two coal and get two of these. Oh, just one coal. My bad. Just one coal. All right, it's so one to get two cards. Whoa, where did the card go? Oh, there it is. And how do I look at this thing on? Uh, slide it all the way down, and it goes into your yeah. hand. All right. I think I need to maximize my window here. It's not looking. There we go. There we go. Okay. Right. Oh boy. I don't know what these. All do. right. Excellent. Um, and I can yeah. use one of these on my turn, or only when I do a. Uh, yeah. On any turn, you can use one. And so oh. you might want to play one right now. Let me find the card reference here in the rules. Give me a second. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Why wouldn't I not use that one? Okay. Give me one second. Are you unique? Well, I have two card drawing ones. So I will just uh, do this one to draw two cards. This card piles right here on Perfect. the board. And I can just play one of these per turn. Right. No infinite loops here. Too bad. OK. I think you're done, right? And I then am. I'll take my little hot air balloon. And we're going to go spend three steel. And we're going to get a medium-sized machine. And I am done. Okay. The machine I'm going to get is the one that gets cards. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna I have to forge, bring all my guys back. Guys, this is really clever. There's a lot of cool like things it. going on here for sure. Thank you. It's 
It's just like Maybe. every other game, right? Isn't it yeah. like identical to every worker placement you've ever played? I assure you, it's not like every other game. I We play so many games, it is not like every <laughs> other game. There's a lot of unique <laughs> things going. And I, the thing that I like, I mean, Scott, you can go ahead and play out your turn. But the thing I really enjoy about these type of games is that I, I call these like a sandbox. Like you give us the tools to build out this world, but each time you play, it's going to be completely different. And it's going to be controlled by the players that you're playing against. There's not any kind of set way that you're going to build this. So Correct. each game that you play is just going to be really, really unique. And the buildings. Oh, and I stuff. really appreciate that. Yeah. How you doing with your turn, Scott? Oh, holy smokes. Look at that giant thing. Yeah, there. So that's where it's yeah, 14. 14. I should just get 20 points, actually. The transmogrifier, you discard a card, you get a whistle and five victory points. A lot of stuff. The big ones have uh, the tendency to kind of change the game pretty significantly Oops. when they come in. Uh, I had meant to put my worker there, so he would be there. I paid, okay. for, I paid the gold for it. For, I didn't put my guy up there. So I get this one. So you get the whistle ribbon, then. I get the whistle ribbon. All right, so water will, ri will rise. All right, I'll get that. Okay. Um, Sorry. Uh, yeah, be careful. Be, be careful of the water. People, People yeah. are drowning. Yeah, See, it's a rough this game. Is, this is what happens when you get kind of unbridled uh, industrialization without care for your consequences. Um, we have a lot of people in that whirlpool down there. All right, I get another free upgrade because of my ability, because I built a large building. Let's see. And I think that's it. I'm done. Go here. Oh my goodness. I just find it so funny that you guys could have put a a simple worker placement spot, but you notched the board. Like how unique is that? Well, credit Bezier Games and uh, Ted. Ted for a lot of the little like uh, visual details and uh, um, like how this uh, water rises. You know, we have rising water, but this is actually a three dimensional structure with bars. <laughs> And then these these will lay across the top, so they'll they'll fit level. Um, so yeah, it's it's engineered to work. Yeah, it's just really really unique. Okay, Sorry, so Jeremy, Kiri, that's you. Kiri, yeah. you got that giant um, machine there. I did. And that's the one where you can pay to use a partially, or you gain a partially submerged machine. Now that'll be fun on Tabletopia to pull out a machine from <laughs> the water. All right, I am going to go. Hmm. It's actually not what I want to do. Hmm. Hmm. What is on here? A gold and a whistle and a victory point. I'll do that. I think that's probably the best option for me. Let's get a gold, a whistle, and a victory point. I am done. All right. I'm plumb out of resources, basically. So I need to go and get some. So we're going to go to the Black Iron Forge here. Going to get. Uh, Two coal, one steel, one water. And then I am done. Okay. My ship's here.
Okay. Rotate this. They go right here, which will give me steel and coal. <laughs> That's weird. How do I get it back up? Pick it up and then hold the E for rotate, and it corrects it. Okay. When I go right. All right, there. Ugh. You don't want the gold? You want the two steel? Well, so steel is wild. Mm. Steel is wild for me. Interesting. Oh, cool. So two steel. So I get two steel and coal, right? Where's that coal? So keep, I'm going to spend my three steel to get another upgrade. Because you have that machine, or you have that upgrade that allows you to gain an upgrade. Yep. So I'm going to take the extractor. Okay. So uh, I got it for you. Oh, thank you. And that's my turn. There you go. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. So let's go with. I kind of need some water here, and I want gold. Gold. So we'll do that. OK. Oh, I you know to... what? Sorry. Can... No, go ahead. It's Jeremy. I was going to jump um... again. <laughs> I am going to do something tricky here. I'm going to place this giant guy right here. All right, I'm going to gain one steel. Or iron. I keep saying that wrong. I'm going to discard uh, it. That's because well, I'm saying it wrong. Oh, I'm going steel, to iron. discard this card to gain a whistle. Five victory points. Nice. Um, I'm going to gain a gold. And I'm going to use one of those whistles to get three, um, three of these. We'll go one. I get one extra. It's normally two, but I get one extra one. Two, three. And then I'm going to discard one of them, which will be this one, to move one of my guys. I'll move him here. Oh, what are Good you guys? Move. What are you guys sitting on here? You're sitting on a uh, two, two by three. Kira's sitting on a giant one, which you can't really place. I need to get this guy up here. Okay, so you need to know that I was eyeballing exactly that spot for a meeple <laughs> and for um, building on this turn. Because I'm ready to forge. So as you become more experienced, you're kind of watching, uh, anticipating what people are doing next. I am going to also play a card this turn, if I can. Okay. Um, you can. Going to spin this Oh, to build. Uh, the build action is just one, right? It is just one. Uh, I'll go ahead and spin this one. Any two resources. So I'll spin one, two to gain any one of these tiles. Oh, green. Uh, what does the stash do? I'm sorry. Stash. It's two, points. it's two points per upgrade that you have at the end of the game. So it's basically another six points right now. I think that's the best option for me. Yeah, it includes itself. Yep. It has a value also. Yep. All okay. Right. And then, uh, yeah, new upgrade comes out. And you're finished now, Jeremy? Yes. Okay. Um, I might have to take you with me. So I'm going to forge. So I'm pulling back my airships. There are some very satisfying turns, for sure. Okay. Then Ooh. I will build a scaffold, one and only. Could I get away with? Can mm -hmm. I? You want to take me. Please and thank you. Mm. Okay, Nick Offerman. Let's see. Don't do it. Don't do it. 
Ah, but I kind of want to. So this is worth three points. That's my free build. Yeah. And I'll take. Uh, well, let's let's do. Give a five, take a ten, and give a two. We're running out of fives up here, and that's my fault. Luke's doing some funny math right there. Okay. Oh, I don't have any gold. Scott, <gasps> you didn't give me enough gold. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, All right. ouch. Never mind. Um, I will continue my path of destruction, though. Um, I'm going to spend another spend a water, and I'm going to do another build. And this one will be worth another three points. And then I will do my third build. And I'm going to build without climbing, which is reckless. <laughs> but it's oh, still wow. worth points. So printing press. Yeah. So this guy will give me um, points and it'll give me a free card when I build it. So there's still three victory points I haven't gotten yet. This guy's worth 12, so that's 15 victory points and the card. Sure you want Drop to build it. it that way? I think that's the best way to build it. Um, I, I really can't yeah. see any other way to build it. Like, that was all the engineers could come up with. <laughs> <laughs> that's all rising right. in the water yet again. I'm losing yep. So one of my guys is drowning because of that. Um, and so the water is getting very cluttered, and there's an airship there. That's one of Kira's. Okay, and now here comes the water, and it shuts down. Whoops, I moved the whole stack. Don't move the whole stack. There you go. Okay, there are meeples under it. Hang on. We can do this. Oh, yeah. can do this. Sort of. A little bit. That, that's an extra one. Somebody's grabbing extra ones. I got it. I got it. There we go. Oh. My goodness. It's all right. We're good. We're good. Okay. Water wow. has risen. Um, there are three more water rises before the end of the game gets triggered. And we have a, these are all negative five victory points, all these people down here in the drink. So be careful about that. I'm drawing my bonus card for building and uh, I'm done. Whoa. Well, now remember the extension thing where you said that if someone builds next to my guy, I can move him over my extension. Darn. Right? You have that? Yeah. Oh, I blew it. Uh, yeah. You totally right. get to. You totally get to go into the uh, oh, tower. Oh, come on. I'm going to fix this up here. Thank you. Wow. Uh, my mistake. Um, happy birthday. Actually, my birthday's on Sunday. <laughs> and I appreciate that. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> we, we were going to have a big party in Indiana for you, but uh, things happened. No, I'll play right uh, here. Bezier actually had a really cool birthday for me last year at Gen Con. Super appreciated. That sounds really cool. Yeah, we had a chance to play uh, Suburbia with a uh, with a a couple, and yeah, we had some cupcakes. It was pretty cool. Side note: What you doing, <laughs> Scott? Really cool. uh, I'm I'm going to turn in this activated building to get a card from the printing press. And I'll use sex card to use the transmogrifier. Okay. Actually, I guess I should look at the card and see if I really want to do it. Get rid of it. The card is. Where'd my card go? There it is. See what it is. Turn in my car. Uh, 
Oh, that's actually a pretty good card. Uh, no, I don't, won't do that. I'll, I'll, sp I'll spend it to get the whistle and five points. I think we're missing some of your audio, Scott. Um, it's a little choppy, just FYI. Wait, I think we got, that... We've got what you're doing. Okay. Though. I'll get a whistle five points. Do either of you two know when this will be available for consumers? Um, I don't have a, a firm date on it. Um, it's fairly soon, though. I, my understanding is it's fairly soon. That's the end of my turn. Okie dokie. Yeah, there's pre orders Ooh. already available. Um, and uh, I can't imagine it being that much longer. My understanding is the production's essentially done. Where would you place this, Kira, on the on the tile? Mm -hmm. No, and the below it. You can't place it on the scaffold. It's got to be. Oh, you're right. Place. You're right. Yeah. You're right. So it's got to go there. Well, then that's probably not what I want to do. If you're looking for the two gold that you just got, no. No, I didn't. Gra I only grabbed one. I was thinking that was something else there, but now I see it because I was zoomed out too far. Sorry. Uh, okay. So, what to do here? That'll do. I'm jealous of everybody else's spots on the board with their airships right now. <laughs> well, you're going to have a lot of spots now because I can't do anything. All right. You're done? Mm-hmm. All right, I'll do a forge action. I pull my three airships back. One, two, and three. I will then do two build actions. One for free. We'll do action number one, which will be this tile here, we'll flip it. One more. We'll go right here with it. And that's going to give me four points. Whoops. One, two, three. No, four, five points. One, two, three, four, five points. Yes. And then spend the water to do. Action. Oh, you're going to get that top ribbon? Scoundrel. <laughs> Seems about wow. accurate. <laughs> Welcome to playing games with Jeremy Salinas. Scott, you told me you were going to teach me how to play. All right here. We're going to go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yep, four more. So I'll just take, I'll take four. Very nice. Uh, and then I will... Uh, um, Spend a gold, right, to move somebody, and I can do that just once. Yes, just once. I will spend a gold. You know what? Yes, I'll spend a single gold. Move this guy right here. That is me. Okay, I'm going to take my juggernaut and I'm going to go out next to the transmorgrifier and I will be getting gold, steel, and I'll discard a card to get a whistle and five victory points. And I am done. Gold. Deal. Uh, Whistle. Five VP. Back to five. Take it ten. I am going to forge. So I'm going to gold. Keep my ships back. Uh, 
And this, they keep getting thrown into the whirlpool. And yeah, let's see, do I have to do anything else? Uh, I remember when I was winning this game. That was fun. You do have the most points right now. Did yes. more water go up with Jeremy building above? No, it's only when you build a uh, structure, one of the... Yeah, he oh, built, right, he right, built right. scaffolds, which we can build scaffolds all day long, but it's not until we build a machine above I the line that the water you. rises. I'll, I'll go ahead and turn this in to get my whistle. Oh, no. Uh, Mistakes are made. Anything else? Uh, I'll hold off for now. I'll be, I'll be done. Okay. I have to pull my ships back. I don't have anything to build right now. So I'm just going to rest. I'm just going to move one of my guys. And instead of moving one of my guys that are uh, in the whirlpool, I'm just going to move this guy that's going to fall into it next. And it's going to come hang up here by Jeremy, which gives me my four points. Yay! The crowd goes wild. Nope. No, I think I moved the wrong guy again. Oh, I wasn't going to say anything. I... <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, did I move myself? <laughs> Why am I still down there? All right. Okay. Yeah, this is looking worse and worse for me all the time now. Too much drowning going on. I'm going to go here. I'm going to get a steel. Oh, my gosh. Table. Steel. A gold. Oh my gosh, gold. Um, and then spend a whistle to gain three tiles. So we'll gain one, two, three. I'll get rid of one of them, which will be this one here. Uh, no, this one here to move a guy. I'll move this guy. What are you guys sitting on here? A three by three, a nothing, and a nothing. You guys have nothing. Three by three is not going to go anywhere. So. There's a little dry spell right now with the what we have available. Sure. Kira's got that monster machine over there that could get on the board if there's room for it somewhere. <laughs> That's me. Okay. Um, with the fear in our hearts, I send an airship down and I simply rescue a dude from the water. Mm. I am done. That's what I was going to do. <laughs> well, now you're not going to do that. Trying to negate some negative points there, eh? Yeah, I, I can still do it. I'm going to put forge again and I will Rescue a guy. Move him. Right. Okay. I'm done. Very well, Kira. Okay. Let's move. Over here, we'll spend one whistle for two pieces. We'll take this one. Mm, is that the one? No, that's not the one I want. We'll take this one and this one. That's it. Okay. I sense some building coming soon. <laughs> Probably soon, yes. And that means water that likes to rise. Okay. 
Hmm. Okay, there's some tension here, I can tell now. <laughs> We've gone quiet. <laughs> Everyone's studying the board. We are studying the board at this point. Now, yeah, it's... It is getting tense. I don't know what I'm going to do, which is really bad. I'm going to go here. I am going to get a card. Um, oh, yes, that's correct. <laughs> I'm just thinking here. I can get three gold if I go the other way, right? Do I need a whistle? What are whistles for? They're wild. Wild. They're for wild. That's right. But I get a lot more gold and victory points the other way, but I can't use that gold. Sorry, I'm sorry. Um, I will uh, get a coal and gain a whistle. And a card. I got the card. I'm trying. Give me one second to read my card here because I may be able to use it. What is this called? Where are you, cards? Where are you? <laughs> oh, there you are. Um, all right, I'm going to use it. Use move one guy in the tower up one floor. I'm going to move him. Oh, very good. And take this. That's so great. good. Well done. You can just suspend the ribbon and get the yeah. brain down. Spin the ribbon. What do all these do here? Black, uh, that's a wild. What does this do? Drafting office. So when you place a building, you get a card for free. And what's this one? Rapid trip loader. So every time you activate a building, you get a point. Which is great on times where you can like activate multiple buildings at once. I am just going to get a lot of points for these things. Um, that's it. I'm done. Okay. I fly over and I get a little gadget. And this one is gold. I'll take the double gold one. And that's going to cost me two coal. And I am done. All right, I will go right here, which gives me two steel and a coal and a card. Two steel. Coal. Let's see what the card is. Oh, interesting. All done? Are you going to use it? I'm thinking. Uh, yeah, I'll use it. What is it? Let's see. So, I need to get a card. You guys have all these fancy things going on. I'll spend it. So it's, oh, that's a good one. That is a good one. I'll do that, and I'll get Black Lung. There's a lot of upgrading going on. I, I have no upgrades. Same. <laughs> All right. I'll go here. Water. And a coal. And iron or steel or whatever we're calling it today. It's it's uh, iron steel, yes. Iron steel. And there we go. That's me. That was a fairly simple turn. It was. I am going to pull my things back, I think. Because I can. Sometimes you want to do it early. That's what Energy Empire taught me. <laughs> Don't use all your stuff. Sometimes it's best just to not use it. All right, I'm going to build number one, this thing. 
and it's going to give me four points. So that and that. Number two, I'm going to build this thing for a water. Uh, we're going to spin this like this. It's going to give me another one, two, three, four points. Another four. And then I'm going to do two actions. One, I'm going to spend two gold to remove a guy from the whirlpool mm -hmm. up here. Yep. And then I'm wow. going to use this ribbon to move another guy up here. That's awesome. Really good. Yeah, you can see things that I, I wouldn't expect a first-time player to see here. So you set it up so no matter what size building or machine yep. gets built up there, you are going with it. Yeah, hopefully. So the only hope is that no one builds any in that area for the rest of the game, and we're in good shape. So are you finished? I am. I am uh, pulling back my airships on a forge turn. Getting points every time you guys put your guys next to me. I forgot, sorry. I completely forgot about my ability. Oh, you get points when you place next to them. When I place next to them. That's right. I did that already. Yeah. Huh. There's Forget places to place next to people now for sure. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Um, let's see. Um, so I'm, I'm uh, pulling back, and I'm going to spend a gold, and that will be allowing my brave worker to get past the dangerous waters to get up to his job site right up here on this very high scaffold. <laughs> and uh, then we will do our one free build, which is to build this machine per right here. And so this machine is worth five points, and I will be promoting two of my workers over to the tower. Yep. And uh, there, my two workers are now have joined the elites um cigars and brandy up there with uh jeremy <laughs> and the water rises uh -oh. and could be worse getting worse boom wow is that okay. should that be flipped the other way um yeah there's no way to do that so we're just going to live with it i got gotcha. you <laughs> i got gotcha. you yeah, i got gotcha. you no. we just know it's, we just know better it's uh, it's don't touch happy fun ball. We'll just leave it right there. Okay. Oh, you know what else? I'm such a good builder that when I build things, I get what's on them. So I get two gold. Nice. I'm going to go buy some scaffold. There. I got you, Scott. There we go. Buy this. This guy. Ah. Come on. It's not. Ah. You, you got meeples now. Let me let me grab it. Okay. Thank you. I didn't move anything. Ah. Okay. Luke. You're welcome. You might need a better mouse setup for next time. Yeah, maybe. And I'll spend one steel. <clears throat> okay. That's it for my turn. I take my friends back here. And I'm going to build forge. So we'll go here first. A lot of points. Oh goodness! Can I you help it. me with that? Thank got you. Five points. Uh, five points. And then I'm going to build. That's not there. But yeah, you can go up there.
So eight. So that's another, another three. That's another five. Yeah, another five. One, oh two, yeah, because there's three, two on the four, side. Five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So okay, yep. okay, and then I'm gonna spend one gold again to find a friend that's about to not have good days. Put him there. I was supposed to spend a water for that second build. I'll take another four points for my guy being next to another guy. And then I'm going to spend my last water to build this here. So I need to move. Oh, so I get promoted. Yay. Oh, nice. OK. Thank you, Kara. You're welcome. Boop. And that is how many points? 10? You know, points. Yeah, that was you can. It is. 10 points. That was a lot of points for that turn. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I'll water trade rises. some of this stuff in. Yep, water I'm, rises. I'm going here. OK, here we go with the water. It's almost over. <laughs> yep, one more water rise. I'm done. Oh, you're done already. That was lightning round. Well, no one has any. No one has any buildings, right? Am I correct? Correct. Yeah. Um, let's you, see. Is it a hard stop, or do you go to the end of the round? You get one more. Everybody gets one more turn, except the player would trigger the end. Oh, interesting. So. I grabbed a couple extra of these, you guys, because there's none here anymore. So there. Take oh, it looks back. like you took the whole stack somehow. Yeah, I put them back. There's a stack I had. There. I was stacking them up, and I realized there was too many here. So I should have had three. There we go. Okay. Dang, this is scary. And Jeremy does have that building. He has that uh, machine. And he will be able to get three of his guys promoted. I don't I don't like that at all. I think it's looking almost inevitable though. What could we do? It'd probably require a Hail Mary with some cards. So let's see what happens with um Two steel slash iron being used to grab three cards. Oh, they're great cards. But will they do a thing that needs to be done? Well, I'm going to play this one, which is uh, toss a line. And I'm going to spend one gold and rescue one of nice. my people from the whirlpool. So we will be going right here, I suppose. OK, I'm done. OK, I think I should forge. Take that guy back. Rebuild. There go. Right there. So I think that's uh, one, two, three, four points. And let's see. Build this one for a water. Okay. Rotate this. Yeah. 
That's another one, two, three, four points. I'm up to eight points. I'm going to spend a gold to move my guy that's not ready to get drowned. So I've got wilds here I can use. And these. Uh, so I'll go right in right there. And let's see, do I have anything else I can do? Guess I could buy upgrade. I don't know if it's worth it. Uh I will hold off. All right, your turn, Kara. I'm gonna go here. I take this guy. And yeah, that's it. Hit? Mm-hmm. That'd be good. Whistle and steal. Oh, I got a whistle and steal from my extraction too. Okay, Jeremy, what are you gonna do here? He's mathing it out. Who has no one bought any more buildings, correct? Correct. Correct. Are resources worth anything at the end? It's one point per four. Of yeah, the same uh, kind? Or four total? I think it was four total. Does extension work on um, everything it's surrounding? Everything? Yeah. All of mine. Yeah, it works for all of you guys. Oh, okay. you're going to get all four in there? I am. Oh, wow. Yeah. So I'm going to pull back. I'm going to spend my whistle to move this guy here. I'm going to place this here. So all four of them, five of them. Well, I get promoted as well. Thank you. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Come here. Come here. Well, this top one's not going to go. Yeah, the yeah, one that was right here. He was adjacent. Or this one that was down here isn't going to go. All of mine go. I have extension. Anything that gets removed. Oh, sorry, sorry. Special power. You just said that. You just said that. Yeah, but you know what? I get to move my guy, too. My guy is going for a swim. <laughs> Me and Kira, we get yep. our people down there in the whirlpool. And the water has risen to the final and Anytime stage. I... And last, the last people have left the barracks, so that triggers yeah. the end of the game. Uh... So do we get one more round, or is it done? We get one more turn. Jeremy does not. I have a card I could play. Let me see what it says here. Why don't you save it for your next turn? <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Um, I don't think it's going to do anything. No. It's not. Okay. Here's my final move. My final move is I'll play the treasure chest oh, twelve card. Ten. Yeah, get your points. Treasure mm -hmm. chest gets me two whistles, and those are wild. And then I am going to fly over. Ooh. That would be fun. Ah, I'm going to be building a gadget and it will go like this. So I'm going to fly my mighty juggernaut to the medium machine space. I will spend three whistles to obtain a new machine. 
which is this one. Then I will play my use my ribbon to do a free build. Nice. And then I will zoom in on here and I will rotate this guy right here and play it. Let's see, I need to see the points before I rotate it. Is it 12? Looks like it is. I'll play that, score 12 points. Um, the water's already risen. I don't need to rise the water anymore. And then I get to activate the ability on that card because of my special ability. So it allows me to discard a card to move someone vertically. That's a movement in the tower, correct, Scott? It has up and down arrows, yes. So um, that's going to be, here's the card. And then we will climb the tower. Let me see that's which nice. one gives gives me the most points. And that is done. I, I'm, that's my final turn. They're all one point for you. Yeah, they're all one point difference. The bottom ones are more different than that. All right. I am done. Okay. I'm going to fly over to the upgrades. So I'll just take my one ship. Over to there. Okay, I'll buy the cheapest one, which is the rapid loader. And we'll see what comes out. Take this one. I think Jeremy's got it, but we'll see what it happens in the final scoring here. Okay, what's that worth? Five. I'm going to go ahead and buy that one as well. Because I've got enough with my other power to buy a upgrade. Very that's cool. You guys are sitting on a lot of points. So. All right. I'm going to pull back and build, which this should technically fit here. <laughs> Four, five. That's that, six points. And I'm going to spend two gold, which is a gold and a whistle. I'm going to get total of. Jeremy, I'm going to get a total of 10, so just hold on. Because I'm going to take my guy from the Whirlpool and stick him up here next to Luke's friend. And that'll give me another four points. So that's 10 Oh, points. nice. Well, very good. I got your 10. Thank you, dear. And that's me. All right, that's it. Walk us through the final scoring. Okay. Well, I don't have the reference in front of me, so... Um, I do. We, I can pull it up. We here. can do it. The somebody shout out the order, and we'll figure it out. All right. Let me see. I got it here as well. We got tower first. All right. So you add up your the point values for each guy you have in the tower. I got twenty eight points. What'd you all get? Sixty seven. Oh. One, two. 67. Wow. I got 20. Not as impressive. All right. But that was only with three, with three guys. Oh. So. Lose five. For each. We're going to lose five for each guy in the whirlpool. So I lose 10. Okay. And I lose 20. Also lose 20. So that just completely. I lose 15. That. That's cool. Next, we have upgrades. I have none. Also none. I've got six. Twenty-five. Let's see how many points I have. I've got ten, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-five. All right. Okay. And now we have one point for each machine left over in your storage. You have one point for each award that you did not use in your storage. One point for every two of your scaffolds that you have in your storage. One for every two cards that you have left over in your storage. 
and then one point for every four resources on your board. That is it. I have yeah. none of that stuff. I was perfectly okay. efficient. <laughs> All right. My final score is 70. Okay. 69 for me. One point difference. I know. Bummer. At 131. That makes more sense. That sounds right. How about you, Scott? I think I'm at 84. 84. All right. Well, congratulations. Um, you have uh, defeated the designers at their own creation. Um, <laughs> you showed us, showed us a few tricks. That extender did you very well there. Yeah, there's a nice little combo with the uh, the extension, but the, even the one where I had the riveter and the hydraulic lift where I was pulling a lot of tiles and then being able to build them fairly quickly. A nice little combo. So you can see how quickly people build high changes kind of the pace and uh, the threat as well. So if people play really, um, they're a little more careful about building below the bridge, the water won't rise as quickly or suddenly. Um, but it can get uh, frantic paced to try to save your people in time. So, yeah. fantastic guys! Appreciate the opportunity. That was a lot of fun. Yeah, I a, really great... enjoyed that. Well, yep. thank you guys all for coming by. I really appreciate you all as well. And uh, Scott and Luke, I always appreciate your guys' time. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Thank you. Do, you. do you have any more yeah, information you. about uh, uh, production or timing or any of those things? Yep, I, uh, I posted for him. It's going to be early fall is when we'll expect to have copies. And of course, we'll be able to get you guys one. So don't don't sweat that when they come in. Um, oh, nice. Ooh, and that's just right around the corner. Yes. Yeah, we're, we're waiting on pins and needles ourselves. We're ready for it to come in because this is one I've been really enjoying a lot, too. Well, thank you, Matt. Thank you, Luke. Thank you, Scott. Appreciate you guys' time. And thank you for inviting us to play it. Great yeah. game. It'll do really well for you guys, for sure. Thank you, everybody. Um, yeah, thank you, Jeremy. So thank you, Kira. Thank enjoy you, the rest Matt. of your, your pseudo Gen Con weekend. Yeah. Back at you.